Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will learn how to make the most amazing chicken 65 biryani. In this video, I will not be sharing the recipe for chicken 65 as I have already linked the recipe in the description box below. Please do check that recipe as well. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here's our list of ingredients. I'll start this process by chopping up 3 large onions. I'm sharing this clip just to show you guys how thinly I slice the onions. The thinner the onions, the crispier they will be. So now I'll heat enough pan in oil and add these onions to the oil and let them fry until golden brown. Here I've taken 3.5 cups of basmati rice. Wash this very nicely until the water is clear and soak it for about 1 hour. Just checking on the onions. When the onions are slightly translucent, we will now add a teaspoon of sugar to it. Adding the sugar will make it more crispy and tasty. So here is my marinated chicken 65. Do not forget to check the recipe for this in the description box below. Do not forget to stir the onions in between. When the onions are slightly brown, switch off the flame and transfer them onto a plate, layering it with a paper towel. I'll pour this remaining oil into a bowl and keep it aside for later use. Into a large pot, I've added 15 cups of water for boiling and then I'll add salt to it. Into a bowl, I'll add 2 cinnamon sticks, 2 bay leaves and then I'll add some vetiver root to the bowl and then I'll add 1 inch of sandalwood and some dried rose petals and finally I'll add some coriander seeds now into this bowl I'll add one large cup of water and let it boil for five to seven minutes into the boiling water I'll add slid green chilies now I'll add in the boiled water from our dried whole masalas We will just use water and throw away the spices. Now I'll add 1 tablespoon of caraway seeds and let this pot boil very nicely. Once done, now I'll add in the soaked rice to the boiling water. Once the rice is added, let it cook until it is 80% done. It should be a little undercooked. Now the rice looks 80% done, so let's go ahead and strain this rice. Once strained, keep it aside. Now, into a large pot, I'll heat oil and add ginger garlic paste to it. Once the ginger garlic paste is done, now I'll add 2 cups of beaten yogurt to it. Stir well. Then I'll add some turmeric powder to it. Then goes in some red chili powder salt then some slit green chilies stir well and now I'll add the whole spices powder to it mix well and let it cook for 5 more minutes here I have the fried onions 
from which I've taken half of the quantity and crushed it. Now I'll add in this crushed onions to the pot. Let it cook for 2 to 3 minutes and then we will add coriander and mint leaves to it. Now here I have my chicken 65 ready. Out of this I'll take half of the quantity and add it to the pot. Keep the rest chicken for later use. Now mix this and add a little water and some lemon juice to it. Our biryani gravy is now ready. I'll take half of the quantity of this and keep it aside. It's time to layer the biryani. First layer will be this chicken gravy and then onto that goes the rice layer. Once the rice is evenly spread, now I'll add in the oil which we've taken out of the fried onions. Then I'll add 2 to 3 pinches of whole spices powder. Then goes in some chopped coriander and mint leaves. Now I'll add in the remaining gravy chicken. Then goes some fried onions on top. Again we will add a layer of rice and cover the chicken. Some more coriander and mint leaves. Here I have dissolved food color. I was actually out of saffron so I just used this. Again I'll add in the fried onions. Then goes in few raisins. Some fried cashews. Then goes on top our fried chicken 65 pieces. And after that finally we will add the remaining oil to it. Now cover the pot very tightly with the help of aluminium foil and let it cook for 8 to 10 more minutes on a medium flame. Once done, switch off the flame and serve the biryani. Our amazing chicken 65 biryani is now ready. If you like this video, please do comment below and do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until then, bye bye.